Today we're going to do kind of a review of the Breville Grind and Brew Coffee Maker. So I have not played with this much. Um, I've got the manual with me here. And we're just going to go through it this morning. I'm going to do a detailed review on it later, but this is just kind of a, we're just going to make coffee with it. I'm kind of really impressed with it so far, but it, it's been around a while. But it also gets lots of bad reviews. So, did anybody have any questions this morning? Anything about coffee? Or Thanks for joining in. I know I've been off for a little bit. Just been uh, kind of hectic around the house with the kids home from college. And, um, you know, I don't get much time in the kitchen um, to make coffee reviews. But I've got a bunch of coffee makers lined up. So, it, they're going to come out a... I got a bunch of videos that are going to be need to be made and they're going to be released. So, hey Connor, how's it going? Thanks for joining in this morning. So I know it's been a while. It's been a while since I've done a live stream. Um, I'm going to start doing these more. Uh, Saturday coffee with Dad. I think's a, a good topic. Um, we're going to make some coffee this morning. Again, we're going to use this Breville coffee maker. So it's a grind and brew. You put your coffee beans up here. It's got this fancy control panel. It's got a stainless steel carafe. Um, it also, I also brew it into a uh, travel mug. It brews into a travel mug too. And you open it up here. It's got this really fancy. Yeah, this one is really nice. It's a, it normally retails for $300. Um, I was able to pick it up at, at, of all places, Salvation Army had this, but it was in pretty rough shape. Um, I picked it up for six sixty dollars but it was missing a lid. Missing, it was making, missing, the, missing the stainless steel carafe, but I think it was a display model. So, I ended up get, picking it up for a pretty good price, I think. I have started grinding my own coffee. Um, I just, that seems to be, it seems to be pretty enjoyable grinding your own coffee now. Kind of adds another step, but you know, making coffee is, it's kind of fun. And grinding your own coffee just adds another level of, of funness to it. Got this Death Wish World's Strongest Coffee. I'm not so sure about that. I got the medium roast. I've got Dunkin' Donuts, medium roast. These are the whole beans. Just really enjoying my medium roast right now. Again, we'll take a look at this. We're gonna put our coffee beans right here. This is, but you can take this apart. There's the grinder. That little part does come out. There's where it grinds the coffee. It has a little tool storage. And we're going to put this back on. That snaps. Again, we're going to, oh, you press this, this just opens it up. You've got this. This is like a standard coffee maker basket. We're, and we're going to put a coffee filter in there. It does take a standard basket style coffee filter. You know, just your standard 8 to 12 cup coffee filter it's pretty intricate so down in there that's where the i don't know how this is going to work but that, there's a lot of moving parts look like there's the where the hot water is going to come out looks like and again this thing is so fancy you can brew into a uh, travel mug it's got this little tray here i had to buy this it was missing this little tray this is pretty fancy here for a brew basket. You've got your plunger on the bottom. It kind of fits there. You press this. This is where the water comes out. Or I mean, where, the, where you put the water. 
right there. Hope my sound is better. I've got a new uh, wireless mic I'm using. Rode. Um, it was kind of expensive. It was $300, but... See you, Connor. Thanks again for joining in. But, uh, yeah, hopefully my sound is a little bit better. I'm not using the uh, phone's microphone. I'm using an external microphone, wireless. So we're just going to put the... It says we got to fill the tank. So let's put our coffee beans in first. in a fine setting with this knob which I found I don't know exactly where it's at so it's got you can go all the way to the right and all the way to the left and again it doesn't have like a line to show you where it's at I may draw something on there and I don't know exactly how this works so I'm gonna put it right right where I think the middle is now we need to put water in the tank The display changes as you're filling it up with water. And it's got that little red thing that pops up. And, oh, and it beeps at you. That's pretty nice. Pretty, a lot going on with this coffee maker. So it beeps at you to let you know it's full. See how the display right here says the water tank is full. Okay, Connor, you got 10 more minutes. Awesome. Hopefully we'll get a pot of coffee brewed. So this coffee maker, it's big. I mean, it, it takes up a pretty big footprint. Um, but it's got a lot going on with it. So we're gonna press this button here. This exposes the uh, brew basket. I'm also gonna play around with this later. This sublobly, I don't know how to pronounce it, sublobly automatic burr grinder. I'm gonna play around with that. Yeah, thanks, Connor. It looks like a really nice coffee maker. I'm going to put this back. I'm just moving it from one to one stand to the next. So, again, I've got the 8 to 12, 8 to 12 cup basket style coffee filters. Biggest thing here is just make sure you're grabbing one. These things really stick together. I'm going to want to make sure it's hugging the sides. All right. I am going to have to. I'm going to have to read on this just a little bit. Got my coffee in. So you can use a reusable filter in this. That's good to know. So it says you can use a reusable uh, coffee filter in this. So 
says we're gonna push this over till it clicks. Fill the water tank. So here's the coffee pot or the carafe. I had to buy this used off of eBay because this one did not come with one, but pretty nice, really thick walls, man. Really thick walls. But there's the lid. Just line it up. Push it over to lock. Put it back in there. So this is where you, you can select different modes. So I can select different modes here. I can select, I can select carafe, or if I take the, the carafe out, it'll let me do, oh yeah, so it's either or. So it's single serve. That's if you've got your travel mug in there. You don't have to have the coffee pot in there. It will brew right into a travel mug. Or you can press this button and it'll select carafe and then you select how many cups you want. So we're gonna go the full 12 cups. It'll go down to two cups, wow. But if we do a travel mug, it changes to ounces. So we can do 20 ounces or eight ounces. That's pretty nice. Strength. <laughs> eight all the way to two pre-ground so that's if i put my own ground coffee in here i'm gonna have the machine grind the coffee again i just put my coffee beans in there it's got it's a grind and brew it will grind the, the coffee beans it will somehow shoot them into this filter basket i'm not ex sure exactly how so i can do a strength so there's eight so let's just go four let's go five it does have auto start, so we'll have to look into that. Maybe you can program this thing to start for you in the morning. So let's put our craft back in. Again, I got my water tank full. There's where you put the water. And then here's the big start button. So it's not super loud. But it's definitely grinding the coffee. We can hear it grinding the coffee. It says preheating. So this is more of like a this is like a timer. This isn't the time actual time it is right now. It's it's counting down. So it started at nine minutes, and it's counting down. So now it changed the display changed to brewing. Now it says brewing. I don't know if it's actually, I don't see anything going into the coffee craft yet. Thanks everybody for joining in this morning. If you got any questions, leave them in the, the chat. Uh, any kind of coffee questions, I've got my coffee makers. I can grab a coffee maker if you got a question on it. Saturday morning coffee with dad. Uh, I will be doing a detailed review on this later. And posting it this is just going to be my kind of playing around with it okay so it just started the coffee just started to come out i don't know if you can see it let me see if i can get it yeah see it's coming out so we still got seven minutes and you know the coffee maker is not really loud um i was hoping it wouldn't be very loud the grinder wasn't very loud. It smells really good. But again, this coffee maker is, is $300. It's been around a while. I, 
think some people do have problems with it over time. So that's, I think you see some bad reviews on it, but I'm gonna play around. I'm gonna see exactly what I think of it. I'm really wanting to make it my daily coffee maker. So I've switched from a bun. I went to a Mocha Master. I really like the Mocha Master. Uh, it's over there. This is my daily coffee maker. I've been grinding my own coffee beans, but this, this is the most popular Cuisinart coffee grinder. Um, but it's super loud and it's not the most convenient. Um, so I'm wanting to try to grind my coffee better. But I've been doing the Mocha Master. I really like this coffee maker. Um, but boy, if I could get a grind and brew all in one, I think I'm really gonna like that. And that's what this coffee, now this is, this is a big footprint coffee maker. It's big, it looks big. Um, and again, I've been doing some Death Wish coffee. I've been, I've really been on the Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts to me just, this is more of a, just a plain coffee. There's not much other flavor in there. It's medium roast. I'm sure I'll get on with some fancier coffees later, but right now that just seems to taste really good. So we're still counting down. Coffee's coming out. I do have, I think I've got Paws Brew, yeah. So I could grab a cup if I needed to, put it back in. It continues the brew process. And again, the coffee maker's not loud. I like that. The grinder was a little loud. I did notice some of the coffee beans weren't flowing around the best. with a really nice manual I've got. Again, if anybody's got any questions, leave them in the comments below. I've got the manual here. But I'll be playing around with this. I'm gonna, that way when I do my detailed review, I'll kind of have a pretty good idea of what's going on. So the biggest thing I'm going to be is the cleanup. Um, no one likes a ton of work when they clean up their coffee maker. This thing has the potential to be a lot of cleanup, but I'm not sure if it is or not. But we'll find out. It's done brewing here. We have about four minutes left. Again, this is a stainless steel craft. It doesn't have a heated bottom. So that you don't have to worry about leaving your coffee maker on. After it's done brewing the coffee, um, it shuts off. There's no warming plate to keep warm, so that's nice. Some viewers have been saying um, warming plates can really cause your coffee to uh, start tasting bad or bitter after a while if it stays on the warming plate very long. So a lot of, some viewers say they will only do the stainless steel crafts that you don't get that warming plate effect. And I've done reviews, I've done temperature checks on these carafes. They keep, I would not be afraid to use a stainless steel carafe. Uh, they keep the coffee warm a long time. I did temperature checks all the way up to the three hour mark. I did a video and um, no, they kept it. I think I lost maybe five degrees in that time. So yeah. Don't be afraid, that coffee can sit there for a couple hours and still be really, really hot when you pour it, so. Anybody have any questions this morning? Like I said, I told the viewers earlier, I know I've been, uh, haven't been doing some videos lately. Uh, the kids are home from college. It's just been a little stressful around the house. Um, a lot going on, haven't had much time in the kitchen to uh, kind of get it all cleaned up. And, uh, you know, I, kinda, I like to do my reviews when there's not many people around. I'm still pretty embarrassed when people are around to do a, uh, you know, to do a review. It's, it's still kind of awkward if somebody was in the other room. 
we'll be, we'll be doing this live stream um, probably for another half hour, 45 minutes. Got to go down and check on my dad today. We're going to have lunch. But if anybody's got any questions, feel free to ask them in the chat. I've got the chat turned on, so feel free to ask any questions you got. I've got my coffee makers, a coffee re a review you would like to see in the future. Or there's, I've got a ton of coffee makers that I just bought. So I went to Salvation Army and got, oh, I think about eight coffee makers. Um, actually, this was one of them. I got this at Salvation Army. It was missing a bunch of parts, but I was and I was able to um, buy the parts off of eBay. And now this is the first time I brewed coffee with it. But I found some really good deals at Salvation Army. Uh, they just the coffee makers look really bad sometimes when they're there. Uh, this one grind and brew coffee maker by Cuisinart, which is usually pretty expensive. Somebody had just it just brewed a pot of coffee, left the coffee grounds in it, and like put it to the side and and. Uh, so it was in the store with the coffee grounds still in the filter basket, and it was disgusting. Uh, it had mold all in the coffee grounds. But I brought it home, cleaned it up. It looks brand new. You know, I think I got that for like five bucks. Just you're gonna have to clean a coffee. I've got some videos on how to clean coffee makers. You know, if if you if you look at it and it's, it's, you know, if it's been really, really abused, I would not, I'd definitely not get it. But this one looked in pretty good shape. All right, so it's getting towards the end. We're down to 16 seconds. It's never been super loud. I'm, I've still got some coffee coming out. Looks, looks pretty watered down at that point. A little louder towards the end. I think it's going to beep at us too. Got my University of Illinois mug. Daughter is going there. She starts back up in a couple weeks. It'll be her second year in the vet school. She's going to be a veterinarian. Doctor of veterinary medicine. Pretty proud of her. The school's just about two hours away. Okay, so it beeped at us. Kind of pretty loud beeps too. All right, so let's pour ourselves. Let's take a look first. So yeah, it brewed. Yeah, we gotta do our temperature checks. Should have been doing this as it was coming out. So that coffee in there is 180. Really, really hot. That pour is really good. You can see, but that pour is really good. It's one of the best pouring coffee pots. So by the time we poured in our cup, I didn't preheat my mug or anything. 170, yeah, that's a really hot cup of coffee. We're gonna have to let that cool just a little bit. Had to get my cream and sugar. Still don't drink coffee black yet. I don't know that I ever will. It just it tastes really bitter to me. A little bit of cream and sugar. That's not a little bit. I, I put way too much cream and sugar in my coffee. Hey Tom, how's it going? Thanks for joining in. We got Granddad Tom on. He's in the chat. All the way from Texas. I'm glad you were able to join in this morning, Tom. I'm glad everybody was able to join in. Coffee with Dad. And we got Granddad on. T 
Tom is the unofficial granddad of Coffee with Dad. Ooh, that's a good cup of coffee. <laughs> So Tom, if you just joined us, we're doing a review on this Breville. I just, I bought this at Salvation Army and uh, oh, it's really hot in Texas, huh buddy? Yeah, it's hot here too. We've got that steamy heat going on with the humidity and not much wind. But I bought this at Salvation Army. This is a Breville Grind and Brew and uh, I just brewed a pot of coffee, my first pot of coffee with it. So pretty excited. I just did a taste test. It tastes really good. Oh yeah, that's a good cup of coffee. So here's where I'm anxious to see. Empty coffee filter. So this thing kind of tells you what to do. So we got to press this button. Hey, Connor. Thanks a lot, buddy. All right. Let's open it up. All right. So I knew this. So maybe not all the coffee grounds. Yeah, see, I'm afraid. And again, I may not be doing the best, the most correct stuff. But see how that's okay. Okay, so yeah, I'm I'm impressed. I did not know Breville was an Australian company. I knew it was overseas. I actually thought it was an Italian company. But I'm really impressed. Okay, so I was I was expecting the worst because I saw coffee grounds right there. But it looks like it shot the coffee grounds in. That looks like a pretty decent amount of coffee grounds. They're all really saturated. Okay, yeah, that, that's impressive. I am impressed. Now, cleanup. So we're gonna have to take this whole thing. This thing comes off. And when you oh, say so when you set it down, it, it gets the plunger. So I'm gonna have to get some napkins. So I'm going to take this over to the trash can and dump out the f coffee grounds. So I will have to rinse this off. Uh, and there, you are going to get some coffee grounds in your sink a little bit. But that's not too bad. I was expecting a lot worse. I was expecting a, a, it to be pretty bad, actually. Now, we do have some coffee in there. You know, there's kind of a, kind of a buildup in there. It's got this nice... I see why they have this tray now. This is a removable tray that you're probably going to have to clean quite a bit. Let's go over the sink and see how this thing does. All right, bear with me while I get everything situated. I would probably shoot those coffee grounds that way next time because it kind of went inside here. Things you'll learn. Now, one thing I did notice, you can't take this, this hinge does not come apart. All right, so that's, that's a little bit more work, but not, not a tremendous amount. I was expecting, like again, I, from the reviews you read online, you really think this thing would not do very well at all. Now, I think you're going to have to keep give it some TLC. Um, you know, an old bun coffee maker, a Mr. Coffee, you can pretty much just kind of brew coffee, rinse them out, brew more. I don't think that'll be the case with this. 
Um, this does seem... Oh, thanks, buddy. You like the faucet? Yeah. Those are the only faucets to get now. And uh, we were reluctant to get the one with the, with the wand built in, but we're glad we did. Uh, I don't know how we live without this being like this. It's so simple now. So yeah, you're gonna have to give it some TLC, uh, but this thing cleaned up pretty well. It just fits on the door. Huh. So let's, anybody got any questions? topic oh yeah the Amazon yeah so it's been holding up pretty good um, I'll be doing some comparisons with it So check out my, I'll be doing some more videos. I, I bought the Breville espresso maker and I'll be comparing it with the uh, Amazon one. Um, first things, I, I really like this, this gauge. But this is a $700 espresso maker. This is a $200 one. But will they do the same? I don't know. There's a lot to learn with espresso, a lot. And again, I will not be the expert when I do these reviews and when I do this. But you know, most people starting out are not, you know. If you feel like you've got to be an expert to buy one of these machines, then you may never buy one because how will you ever learn? So you're going to buy them. You're going to make a ton of mistakes. It's going to be, it's going to make messy. It's going to taste awful. But you can get, and I think hopefully I'm going to get to the point where they taste good and I'm getting pretty good at it. And I'll try to show you the tricks that I've learned along the way. So yeah, those videos are coming up look really similar but two hundred dollars seven hundred dollars any other questions has everybody got their coffee this morning you drinking coffee this morning Tom Let's read on this. Five fifteen this morning. Oh boy, Tom, that's early. That's early. Probably need coffee to keep you awake all day. Are you drinking decaf, Tom, or you got caffeinated? I know you've told me once. See you later, Connor. Thanks again for joining in. Again, I'll try to make this more of a routine, Coffee with Dad. Um, we've got our guest uh, in the chat, Granddad Tom's on. He's in the chat. So yeah, this thing does talk about, we also recommend checking the coffee grind chute disc for any buildup of coffee grinds. This is the stainless steel disc that is visible when the swing out door is open. A buildup of coffee grounds on this disc can affect the performance of the machine. Wipe the disc clean, then dry thoroughly. Okay. 
So yeah, that's what they're talking about. So we did see a little bit of, and I, I would do the, I would take the craft out anytime you're, cause there's coffee grounds around here. So anytime you're dealing with this area, I would definitely um, take the crap out because you'll just get some coffee grounds into your pot of coffee. But there's that silver disc. That, that thing must move. And that's what shoots the, uh, the ground coffee into here. So they say use, there's a brush. Yeah, so we store a brush. Oh, it's down there. How do I get the... Five thirty, dang. 12 hour intervals. Yeah, you don't like decaf. I've never tried it. So, it, so decaf actually tastes different. So can we lift this up to get to the tool? Oh, we can, but then is it gonna go back in? Things we're gonna learn, guys. Things we're gonna learn. So there's the little tool. Good morning, Alan. Thanks for joining in. So let's see if we can put this back on. No. And, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's it. Most coffee makers, you can't take the bean hopper off. It was full of beans. So we were able to do that. So we got to clean this little area here. This moves. I'm pretty sure that the, the machine controls this. And there was quite a bit of buildup around there. We only did one pot of coffee. And it's time to make sure and... Ah, no jolt. <laughs> so we're gonna wipe it off. It says to wipe it off. Yeah, we gotta have our caffeine jolt, don't we? All right, so I've got it wiped off. Then we got this little tray. So, yeah, that's a handy little tray. So it did make a, it did not make a huge mess. All right. Yeah, it is a pretty cool coffee maker, I think. I'm really liking it so far, I'm digging it. This is the Breville Grind and Brew. Put your coffee beans in there. It's a pretty big coffee maker, but wow. Brewed a really nice cup of coffee. What's everybody drinking this morning? What, what flavor of coffee are, is everybody drinking? And again, thanks everybody for joining in. So that little tool, I don't know that I'll put that little tool back, but I'll probably keep it handy close by. Nespresso Bianco Forte. Ooh, that sounds sophisticated. Now you're drinking in the espresso or you're drinking it as coffee. Alan's drinking Starbucks Dark Roast Cafe Verona. That's a very popular coffee. I've tried it. Uh, it is good, but it's that signature Starbucks um, taste um, that I... I don't know that I'm a huge fan of the signature Starbucks taste because you know, I read an article once that they brew their beans like almost to a, like a, it's like a, I don't know, like a, what did it say? Like a burnt. Uh, and then once I read that article, every time I tasted the, the Starbucks coffee, it, it did taste, I don't know, like a little burnt, maybe a little um, earthy to me or something, but I'm drinking the, uh, the Dunkin' Donuts. Again, I'm, um, I'm just into the medium roast, which is kind of, this is a really basic coffee. Ah, uh, I knew that, okay, you knew, you know Starbucks would do it for a reason, yeah. To keep their flavors uniform, yeah, that makes a lot of sense now. Because, you know, if Starbucks, you know, I mean, these guys, they know what they're doing with their, with their roasting their beans. Original blend Dunkin' Donuts. 
That's what I'm drinking. Is everybody drinking coffee this morning or, or are people, is anybody drinking like an espresso? Um, that, that is really intriguing. Espresso is really intriguing to me. Um, so much so that I've bought two espresso machines. Um, this is the Amazon $200 one. This is the Breville $700 one. But the reason they're intriguing to me is, is so coffee tastes really bitter to, to me when it's black. And espresso is just a really, really concentrated coffee. Now, I know my terms aren't completely correct, but to me, it's just like a really, really concentrated coffee. And it's super, super bitter. But I don't know that I've ever had a really good espresso. Because when you re when you watch the videos on the Breville, the people that, you know, these, there's so many good people out there that have videos on espresso and how to make them. And they're just absolutely, they're, they're experts at it. I mean, they get down and they, it, which is an espresso, then second cup Bianco Forte regular coffee. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. But these guys that, that make these espressos, they're just absolutely uh, stunning and they make perfect uh, a lot of them were former baristas, um, and they make perfect espressos. And what I hear them say is, is that, well, thanks, Connor. I appreciate that, but I am definitely not the best. There's guys that have been doing this a lot longer, and I'm just so new at it, such a beginner. But when they they talk about tasting their espresso that's made really good, it, it tastes, it, it, they say it doesn't taste bitter, there's no acidity. Um, and I'm like really intrigued. I'm like, wow, you can actually make coffee that doesn't taste uh, bitter and you know they, they drink it really really concentrated in those cups um so i'm excited i really want to get to that point where i can try to make those i've got a long way to go if anybody has seen my breville uh video oh it was hilarious uh lots of mistakes uh, just but i had fun you know had a lot of fun with it so the breville is going to be it's going to take a lot of work a lot of work but having fun i do see why this gauge really helped out because it's it's kind of a it tells you it tells you if you make a good one or a bad one. The uh, Amazon one doesn't have the gauge, so you're you can tell by looking at it when it comes out, but a little bit harder. So we got eleven people. All right, we're up to forty-two minute mark. Getting this is coffee with Dad. Got any questions? Leave them in the. We're finding out what everybody's drinking this morning. We're having coffee this morning. It's Saturday morning. I'm drinking my Starbucks. I'm sorry. I'm drinking my Dunkin' Donuts. I got Starbucks on the brain. If anybody's got any questions. So when you see these videos popping up for these espresso machines, uh, they're not going to be expert level. But I want to come at them at a... Um, I want to come at it from approach, oh, thanks. Figure Sky, you are the best. <laughs> that Ninja Hot Cold Brew one is, is a very good coffee maker. But I want to just come at these from a. Uh... Thanks, thanks so much. If I pronounce your name wrong, little lone, for, little lone four. Thank you very much for that. But if I, um, you know, th these. My second cup, ordinary food, which is. Folgers, yeah. Folgers is such a class. I started with Folgers just because dad, my dad drinks Folgers, you know, and when you're new to coffee, you know, you're just going to drink what, what somebody close to you has been drinking. You're like, well, that must be good. And that's my dad has drank Folgers since he, since the seventies. So these will, these, these videos will be coming from a point of view of a very beginner. So, but I will learn, I will show you some tricks and, uh, that's what, that's what they'll be. I want to try to learn them. Having fun with coffee makers. I got a bunch of coffee makers that I've gotten. I just got this Breville. Very impressed with it so far. Wanting to make it my daily driver. <laughs> Folgers and cigarettes. Yeah, that's definitely a 70s. Um, there was just smoke everywhere. Um, that was definitely a 70s, early 80s. Yeah, maybe mid 80s. By the 90s, yeah. Maybe not so much. But Folgers, yep. And those old percolator coffee makers, huh? Where it uh, rebrewed the coffee, it would shoot the brewed coffee back up into the coffee filter, and then how about those old percolators? And the coffee coming out would be about 200 degrees, so pretty interesting stuff. 
coffee's come a long way. I mean, I think some people, maybe some old timers, look at these these fancy machines and they're like, what the heck? What is coffee turned into? You know, they're used to their bun or their Mr. Coffee or their percolator, and it's just, yeah, coffee has come a long, long way. But I do see things do taste a little different. Um, I've started grinding my own beans. I never thought in the world I'd be grinding my own beans. I even bought this uh, Sobobly automatic, so it's a conical burr grinder. I'm going to be going over all that. Yeah, you had to wash that percolator basket. Yeah, it was uh, like aluminum. Fun stuff. Thanks, Alan. Thanks for joining in. So I guess there's different grinders. This is a conical burr grinder. I got to learn about that. Um, the people just joining in again, I've, yeah, it definitely makes a big difference. I have noticed the taste is better. This is my um, Mocha Master. This is my, I, I did away with my, dun I, I got my bun downstairs. Uh, but this is my Mocha Master. I've been grinding my own beans. This one's really loud. This is Cuisinart's, um, it's just, it's just super loud. And there's some mornings I can't use it because everybody's still sleeping. So it is super, super loud. Kind of annoying, actually. But it's the Amazon's number one best-selling uh, grinder, coffee grinder. So I picked that up. I picked this up used off of Facebook Marketplace. So again, the grinder on this was not very loud. Yeah, the Mocha Master is pretty cool. Uh, definitely takes your coffee to a different level. It's got a more even brew. I've got a good detailed review on it. You know, brewing coffee has a lot to do with temperature. Temperature of the water, con consistent. Um, and that Mocha Master seems to hit all the, hit all the dials. So this one, I'm, I'm gonna be doing a detailed review on it. It made a good cup of coffee. I won't be able to get a lot of temperature checks uh, because, you know, you can't, I, I like to see how it's brewing, when it's brewing, but I can't open it up and take a look. So that'll be a little tricky. Got a crop duster in our backfield. I don't know if you can hear the crop duster, but he's zooming around. Anybody else got any crop dusters zooming around their house? They're spraying the corn. I'm not sure what for. We get those Japanese beetles a lot around here. But I did buy, I got, I got real fancy. I got my bottomless portafilter. I didn't even know these were called portafilters. But I got my bottomless one so you can see the uh, espresso coming out. It's going to be pretty cool. It actually works. So let's get the Sobobli out. So let's just do an unboxing real quick. I bought a bunch of stuff on Amazon Prime. Did anybody buy a bunch of stuff on Amazon Prime days? I went a little nuts. I mean, there's stuff, they put it on sale, but it's not super big sales, but. And again, I buy all my own products. I don't, I'm not sponsored by anybody. So if you see a link in my description, uh, yeah, that insecticide spray, I know it's really nice. Me and the dogs are staying in. He won't be out there very long. But uh, yeah, if you see a link, in my description, that's to an Amazon. I am an Amazon affiliate. Um, so if you click on the link, I do get a little bit of money if you end up buying something there. Uh, the product still costs the same. It's just a way that you can support me because I do buy, I buy all my own stuff. I don't get anything sent to me for free. There's no, uh, I don't think I ever want to get to where people are sending me stuff. I don't know that you can do a really honest review. If somebody is sending you a product because you, I think you're going to feel obligated to Say, oh yeah, this was a great product. So yeah, um, I'll put a, I'm also gonna make like an Amazon page, things I buy, things I like. So this looks a lot like the Cuisinart, a lot like the Cuisinart. Maybe 
anybody wants to see. I got my little suction cup. This is my mount. These are uh, these are quick disconnects, and I put my phone. I've got my phone in a rig, and I can just set it in here, and I press these buttons. I can take it off, and I can switch it over to another tripod. Pretty neat little setup. These are called Magic Arms. They're really cool. You loosen that up, and then you can move this anywhere you need it. You just tighten it down, it tightens down. So pretty cool. Okay, got me mounted. Let's take a look. So yeah, this thing looks a lot like Cuisinart. Yeah, I guess I better read the directions before I break it. Okay, so you do you do turn it. That does come off. Okay. So a conical. This is a conical bird grinder. So yeah, it's got like a cone. Definitely, definitely different. Let's get the Cuisinart. art. Okay, so this is just a standard burr grinder. I didn't realize, I thought all burr grinders were the same, but this is a whole nother world of grinders. So this is a conical cone burr grinder. So we can see this one is a conical one, it's got a cone. And that's just a standard burr grinder. I think the conical's better. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Comes with a scoop and a brush. You're always going to be cleaning these. Um, something I wasn't used to, the Cuisinart, man, you get a lot of static electricity. You know, coffee sticks around. Grinding your own coffee's messy. But it's worth it, I think. It's fun. It's all part of the fun, right? Here's the other part of that Cuisinart. Here's the other part of the and it's got settings so extra fine shop vac okay yeah good to know alan how do you use the shop vac do you take your grinder out to the shop vac and clean it that's probably a good idea so that moves the that moves the cone up and down. So I got my, got my bat. Got my CVG. That's Cincinnati uh, International Airport. They've got a, if you're everybody's, everybody's into viewing airplanes, they've got a park. Ah, use the, okay. Oh, definitely, yeah. Thanks for the, thanks for the tip, Alan. I appreciate it. Which one's cheaper? Oh, great, great question. Sorry, I gotta look it up. Coffee grinder. So the Cuisinart's sixty dollars. The Sabobli, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Yeah, thanks. I saw you subscribe to that, Tom. Yeah. For, for those that don't know, 
I um, I like to take pictures of airplanes. I don't. It, it's I, it's just a hobby. I love it. It's fun. I've got another YouTube channel where I take. I got videos of airplanes. So the Sabobli is uh, fifty dollars. So the ah uh, oh, grinds is an absorb. Okay, I hey, own things. I you know, I'm learning so much. I don't know. I didn't know anything about what you just mentioned. I'm gonna check that out. Sixty dollars, fifty dollars. So let's try it out. Huh? You bet, Connor. Let's put some coffee beans in. I might be running out of coffee beans. <laughs> But that's what they say. They say when you start drinking coffee and, and grinding your own coffee and, and using espresso machines and all that, the learning process, you're going to go through a bunch of coffee, coffee beans. I have learned that. I have, and I'm learning that firsthand. Um, you're making a lot of mistakes, so you're not going to get it right the first time. But we have fun. Coffee can be fun. It needs to be fun. Prolongs the life of the blades. People suggest instant rice to clean the blades. Ah. So what's that about the... Hard away, it doesn't work. It broke my first... So, so rice broke your first grinder. Dang. That's not good. All right, so this, I'm sure this is like the cups. How many cups you're gonna brew? So it's got like a little blue light that's flashing. So let's try it out, huh? Who's excited? Coffee grinder. I like the sound of it better. I like the sound of this better. This sounds awful. coffee grinds in it. Well, I'm glad I got that out today. Wasn't, I wasn't, I, I got this coffee, this Death Wish. It's got a lot of good reviews. I wasn't super impressed with it. I still think the Dunkin' Donuts is a little better. Herbs and nuts. Oh, Tom, you're getting, you're getting fancy now. What's going on? Herbs and nuts. There's fine, there's medium. All right, let's, I call this the beast. Oh, sounds awful. like the sound of that at all this sounded so much better it actually sounds like it's grinding the coffee better i mean if that makes any sense at all but here we got this again you, i always kind of tamp it i was surprised how coffee looks when you grind it it doesn't look when you grind your own coffee it looks completely different than when you buy store-bought ground coffee. So here's this. Hey Alan, you just <laughs> got your message, buddy. Okay, so this is huh. this seems more consistent. The burr grinder. Seems way more consistent. I'm seeing some fines over here, bigger chunks, more flakes. If that makes any sense, this has more flakes. Um, 
this seems really, really consistent. I didn't think there'd be that big a difference. Wow. Now it's not, it's not a super big difference. Yeah, I noticed that the store pre-ground is, yep. So you can definitely, so store-bought medium is a lot different than these grinder mediums. Um, store-bought is definitely a lot uh, finer. I've got some store-bought. This is a really good donut shop, um, Walmart great value. It's a really balanced flavor, like just a, just a great taste of coffee. So here's store-bought. Medium. Oh yeah. So right there, definitely a lot finer. Definitely a lot finer. It's dry. Yeah, this is pretty dry. I've had those coffees open. I've had, yeah. You do get a little bit of the oilness with this. Not so much with that. These coffee. I've had this. I've had this Dunkin' Donuts for a little bit. I really want to get into getting some really fresh coffee. I'm even gonna. I'm even thinking of, of um, roasting my own coffee beans. That's been kind of intriguing. Um, I don't know. I might check with a couple. There's a couple. No, oh, there's one local coffee shop. I might check see if they roast their own coffee beans. If they do, I might see if they might roast me some. Or yeah, I might play around with roasting my own coffee beans. Seems pretty fun. Still get the static electricity with this one. But this one, super, super nice. Nice sound. Yeah, it just sounds nicer. And I can stop it. So yeah, I'll let you know. Uh, I'm just, and I'm also thinking of uh, I'm going to make some coffee mugs, getting my logo on some coffee mugs, and I'll be putting those up for sale. Um, but yeah, I might start off with a medium roast just because I'll know that, f that flavor a little bit more. So I might start off with a medium roast and then work up. I, but dark roast seems to be the most popular. Um, so I definitely will work up to the darker roast. But yeah, I might be playing around with that. Fun stuff. But yeah, this is this is cool. It just sounds so much better. I'm, I'm going to start using this tomorrow. But I actually might start using. I'm going to start using the Breville. So I'm going to start using this tomorrow, and it's got its own grinder. So let's grind. Let's grind some coffee with the Breville. See you, Connor. Got to go. Okay. See you, buddy. I'm still going to be here. Coffee cups. Okay. Yeah. I'm definitely. Uh, I I've. I feel bad. I said I was going to do coffee cups a long time ago, and I just haven't done it. Uh, I've been waiting for the right, you know, I've looked at a couple places, and they want minimum orders of 200, 300, but um, I'm definitely going to do it. I'm working on my logo, kind of getting it finalized. Uh, kind of want to, it's going to look a lot like the sticker. It'll probably look exactly like the sticker, but how it goes on the mug, I've been playing around with. Oh, that's nice. Thanks, Alan, for telling him to have a good day. That's awesome. Awesome, everybody. And again, um, we've got uh, Granddad Tom, our guest star in the chat room. He's our honorary granddad. I'm a, I'm just a dad. He's the granddad. So, joining us from Texas. Something I forgot. So Breville, they really pride themselves on this plug. This is really weird. But they call it the ergodynamic plug. You can put your finger in there to plug it in and out. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. But it does cause it to stick out quite a bit. So 
So the first thing we've got to fill, we've got to fill it up with water. Okay, so the Breville, we're gonna fill it up with water. See, it's telling us to add water. All right. Only up to 11 cup mark. Gonna add a little bit, but I'm not gonna brew a full 12 cups. Have to go. See you, Tom. <laughs> oh, have fun, buddy. Take care, and thanks for your support. Thanks for joining in, Tom. And then I got my coffee beans in here. Let's put a filter. Let's do a. Uh, let's do. Let's do a reusable filter. Let's see how it does. Let's go down. Let's just. Let's do, uh, let's do 11 cups. Strength. Oh yeah, make sure you empty this. That's one thing with stainless steel crafts, you gotta make sure they're empty. If you've ever brewed coffee into a pot that already has coffee in it, it makes a huge mess. All right, we got our coffee beans. Let's give this a try. Thanks, Alan, thanks for joining in. So this coffee grinder's not super loud. I think I can use this when the family's sleeping in the morning. So I really want to get, let's, I really want to get a peek at those coffee grinds. So I'm not, I just wanted to get, so. Here's what it looks like. I'm just curious what it looks like before we brew. How'd the grinder do? Got a mess here. All right. Wow. Did a pretty good job. So it uses this deflector and all of this. Huh, interesting. But yeah, that looks. Looks like a really good grinder. I th think it's a conical grinder. Yeah, it's hard to tell. I'm pretty sure it's a conical grinder. But yeah, it looks like it did a pretty good job with the coffee grounds. So that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Um, thanks everybody for joining in. I really appreciate everybody's support. Again, check my, uh, I'll be making some new videos. Check those out if I got a link. I really appreciate everybody's support. If you could uh, support me on Amazon, I really appreciate that. That does help when I purchase these products. I've been purchasing, so this was used. This is normally $700 brand new. I got it used off of Amazon for 500. Uh, this is their like $200 espresso machine, so. Oh, sorry you missed live, buddy. Yeah, I need to give. I need to learn how to give more um, advanced notice. I'm still learning. I got a lot to learn with YouTube. Um, yeah, thanks, Connor. Thanks for checking in. So I'll try to get everybody more advanced notice of when I'm going to be doing the live stream. But coffee with Dad on Saturday, I think, is going to be. Uh, I'm going to try to make it more of a regular thing. 
Normally Fiona's around. Fiona. Come here, everybody wants to say hi. You were asleep on our bed, weren't you? Uh, yes, sometime, probably around the same, uh, so probably around 9.30 Central Time is when I'll do, uh, I'll try to do the live stream. That seems to be pretty pretty good time. Here we've got Rosie. Rosie's our older dog. Oh, Rosie. It's hot out. They'll be inside all day. This is where Fiona sits. She took over the, the chair. She's tired. Mm. So thanks everybody for joining in. I really appreciate it. Again, if you got any questions, uh, feel free to ask. That's kind of what Coffee with Dad is about. Um, you know, listen to me ramble about whatever I want. It, it cannot be the best, but if you got any questions, I'll try to answer them. I can go grab the coffee maker or, or whatever, and I'll be asking you guys questions. So we had fun today. I asked what everybody was drinking. We kind of talked about what coffee we're drinking, um, grinders, and so, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for joining me with my coffee journey. I really appreciate everybody's support, and um, thanks again. So I'm signing off. Thanks so much.